Hi everybody, it's Martin and Flicking Feathers again today and uh, I'm showing you how to make a squishy fish or it's a sort of variation of the squishy fish I've sort of simplified the manufacturing a wee bit um, so the stuff you'll need, you'll need three bits of tubing say a one eighth inch out of diameter hard tube oh, a one eighth inch inner diameter soft tubing and a quarter inch outer diameter soft poly tube now this is it's a soft tube that you um, that set this sets the length of the fly the hard tubing is just to take the cone and then this will tie off uh, obviously this steps up between them so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the the large diameter poly tube and I'm going to melt the end get it nice and soft just try not to let it go on fire and then just press it against the flat surface and that creates a nice lip around the edge and that will stop the tine slipping off the back right? this is quite important for uh, keeping the tube holding its shape then take my 8th inch tube and I'll slide it into the the 8th uh, inch inner diameter so that's I've got a couple inches of hard plastic and just over half an inch of uh, three quarters of an inch maybe of the, the the step up tube and then just do the same again I'll push that into the larger tube till I've got basically this if you leave you just need to leave a small step there um, so it's stepping up it's maybe a bit difficult for you to see in the video there you go you can see there's the hard tube step up soft tube and then the, the large tube and that gives you the length and the flexibility in the fly so it can collapse when a fish bites it. Next, take my tube, uh, my cone, sorry, put it on the tube, and then I'll stick that into my foam, and then quickly mix up a small amount of epoxy. Obviously, if you were tying a larger batch, you, know, you, you could get them all ready and then mix up a batch of 30 minute epoxy and do them all at once so once that epoxy is mixed you just fill the back of the cone just let it run in and that will stick to all three parts of the tube and the back of the cone give you a really strong connection and then you leave that to dry and that's 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 the tube um, complete once that's dry we can move on to tying the rest of the fly um, now as I say obviously Basically the hard tube, always the same length, the junction always the same length and it's the large uh, poly tubing that dictates the overall length of the fly. So once they're ready we'll be back to complete the squishy fish. Alright, the epoxy's dry, the tube mount's ready and I've just slid it on the pin here. And for the body I'm using this stuff, this is Techflex Flexo Tube Chrome Mylar. Um, it's not a fishing product actually, it's for it's a cable sleeve. And you need roughly three times the length of your finished fly. 
right, so you can see it's like we about that it's like we're roughly this length like that maybe a wee bit extra not much and I've marked it in the middle just to put a wee black line just for me to see so I'm going to thread this over the tube all the way down right, until we hit the midway point and you want that right hard to the the front of the cone take my thread, I'm using uh, GSP, this is um, nano silk and you want to just take a loose wrap around it just to get it started and then turn the tube so that the crease, the natural crease is at the top and bottom, that will be the back and belly of the fly and then you really need to tighten down on this right, the key thing here is it's got to be really tight really locked in Run that over itself a couple of times. So I'm away the waist. Tight as you can. Then we'll take a bit of super glue. Wind over it. throw a couple of double half hitches and then I'll trim my thread right. now we're going to roll this the front section of the tube and we're just going to roll it back along the tube until the tube sort of levels up and push that nice and tight against the tubing then I'm going to do it. take it off the vise try this now that I can kind of roughly tell where it's going to be, you'll trim it and then you feel for the lip right, you can go along, you'll feel your wee lip same again take a loose kind of loose wrap or two to get it started And then you can adjust the shape a wee bit to suit yourself and then tighten down. Nice tight wraps, tight as you can. Same again. Put a wee spot of super glue over the thread. Hitches, bed that down into the glue, and it's not going anywhere. 
and you can see now you've got that sort of, you've got a kind of rough fishy shape. You just need to adjust how you like it. Now, and this is at this point I start to deviate from the original dressing because um, the original that involved like dipping it in soft text and then spray painting it with marine paint. But I just use pens, right? And I do it before I, I coat it. Um, so, you know, just sort of whatever your bait fish is that you're imitating, that will do. So I've got a kind of light green pen there, again, a wee green back. Come over with a bit of blue. Rub it with your finger to sort of blend the colours. So eyes, I like a tape eye. Yeah, I'm using here a nine millimeter red eye, but you can use whatever you like. And just get that stuck on. You don't need to worry about gluing it or nothing because you're going to. You're going to be coating the whole fly. Um, there. Just make sure you've got them nice and even. If you wish, you can add a gill. Um, you know, it's it's really up to you. You can colour these however you like. But that's basically the tie-in done, right? So. I'll remove it from the vise. And I'll, I'll just take my scissors and just fray out all this at the tail. But I don't trim this yet. Um, It's, it's quite handy for the drying process. Um, now, at this stage, you can still shape, adjust the shape of the fly. Just be squeezing until you're happy. I quite like that. I'll trim the front. a bit shorter and I'll just melt what are we lipping that Again, that just that will just stop that from uh, being able to slide at all. And that that then kind of means the shape's basically fixed, right? You kind of it, it's it's all all your tines look bound in one place. So to finish the fly off, I use. Uh, plasti dip. Now the original um, calls for soft decks, um, but I've found that plasti dips a bit. I mean, it's just there's no difference in the the way the finished fly behaves, but the plasti dip doesn't yellow. Okay, so plasti dips are nicely mixed up. 
and now I'm just going to coat the fly and I'll give it two coats um, the original the original way of tying it involves dipping it in soft text but that's super messy um, and two quick coats of Plasti Dip does leaves you with exactly the same result basically I'm just using a toothpick just to spread it on. Don't be shy, get you know you get plenty, and this just sort of helps bond the two layers of um, mylar. Make sure your thread wraps are well covered. Also, because I'm using the pla the pen, the plastic dip's really good because it doesn't interact with the Copic marker. So your colour stays true. And this is unthinned plastic dip as well, but you could use thin stuff. Just make sure the whole fly is coated. And then when you're happy with that, I just like to take a crocodile clip on a wee stand. I'll grab this by the tail and I'll let it hang vertically uh, for a few minutes. It doesn't take long and that'll dry. I'll give you a nice even uh, dried fly. And when that's done, there's just the final trimming and the colouring of the tail. Okay, so the fly's now dry. Right, so it's a couple of layers of uh, Softex, uh, no Softex, plastic dip, I should say. Uh, you can see it's nice and flexible. Air can still come in and out. Right, it's it's not a complete seal. It's porous, which is what you want. So that that leaves you a certain your fly's almost like neutral density. So just to finish it off, I'll just. Come in with my pen and just my bodkin, just completely free of the mylar. Right, till we get something like this, and then. Up to you really how long you make the tail, but I'll just trim it like that, that looks a bit good to me. Right, so you can see now you've got your, your nice finished uh, bait fish shape. So, the last thing to do I mean, if you look at a sardine, it's always got a, it's like a darker tail, so I'll just come in with that same green that I put on the back. Get that tail coloured up. It's generally got a, a black edge at the back. And then I'll just kind of darken it a wee bit more, blend that blue in. And that's it, basically. That there is the squishy fish. Soft, flexible tube fly. Really effective, well worth the space in your box, especially if you're fishing off offshore. Yeah, mahi Mahi love them. I know that they work for sailfish as well tied in a bigger size so there you go hope you tie some of them hope you catch some fish in them so thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel for more HD fly time videos hey links guys bye